Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 6th of May, 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. To lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Obviously, we saw a very strong session on Friday to follow through on Thursday's good day. After softer than expected jobs data potentially supports early rate cuts. Uh, certainly, it's one of the key metrics the Fed was looking at. It was one of these cases where bad news is good news almost. Earnings continue to outperform with over 77% of the S&P 500 reported so far, beating expected EPS. More big earnings this week. And of course, data will be due throughout the week. There's a few key data points which we'll talk about in future days. US futures are slightly higher in early Asian trading and Asian equity markets are following that strong US lead from Friday. ASX is around about half a percent to the upside. And European futures are also pointing to a positive open at this stage. US dollar index dropped through support on Friday. It's near neutral in Asia at this stage, but looks generally weak. Gold is holding a short-term range just above that key psychological 2300 level. And copper has paused just below those two-year highs. Oil dropped through support also and is now at March levels, which again is good for the inflation story. Bitcoin showed mild strength and continues to recover from that big drop it had early last week. Still doesn't look entirely convincing, but certainly better than it did this time last week. Earnings remain in focus, of course, throughout the week. We've got services PMI due today out of China, out of Germany and the Eurozone. And we've got the Euro PPI later. Very little coming out of the US. But of course, we've got our usual plethora of important news events throughout the week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We are liking the continued buying coming to zero after this reversal here with a bounce off the 200 MA. This key level at 123.87 that we highlighted last week was breached on Friday. We've got continuation in today's trading. Certainly a move up in the short term of around about 4% to this 130.150 level, but perhaps in the medium term up as high as 138 uh, to test those March highs is on the cards. In the FX world, we're quite liking the look of the Aussie yen on the hourly chart. You can see it bounced off this 100.57 level on Friday, moved its way up in the early part of today's trading to this R1 level at 101.38 and has pushed up even further since then up to 101.69. We now see this as a potentially high probability trade if it breaches this level up around about 47 pips to test this 102.15 level. May get stuck at 102, probably worth not being too greedy with this position. It looks bullish at this stage. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.